welcome to today's tip. We're going to be using some old packaging to create some fabulous shapes that sit behind my photograph. We're going to use embossing powder and you will need the watermark stamp pad. What we are going to do is, I'm very lucky and received this beautiful, um, I think it was hand cream or something, in this box. And I just loved its shape, this hexagon shape. But as you start looking around at things that you might receive in the post or even old packaging, you'd be quite surprised at actually the shapes and things that you can get because you could easily do this with circles. The only thing that I would recommend doing is making sure that it's some sort of absorbent material. So this is obviously cardboard and it will absorb some of that Versamark but it will allow it to go and transfer onto this cardboard. Plastic would not pick up any of that um, ink that sits in that Versamark. Now what I'm going to do is I've got some gold here and I've got this lovely sort of copper really trying to get it into that. On this side, I'm going to use a little bit of the gold. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my heat gun. So there we have our first one. Isn't it pretty? So I've got a little bit of the gold and a little bit of the copper in there. And then I'm just gonna go over and cre create like, um, I could do a nice sort of um, comb effect, like a honeycomb effect. So I hope you can see just how beautiful that is. So we've got the shiny gold and then we've got the copper as well. And on a page with some black and white, a little bit of glamour in there, it really is such a lovely way to have on your background. Now we might even have it that way because this is more of a sideways one. So I hope you've enjoyed this tip and I look forward to seeing you next time.